tell you one, my name is Spoonoo and welcome back to Pen and Messaging Me. What's up? <clears throat> and nothing about what I told you made you feel a little uncomfortable, you know what I mean. Is this you wanting to back out? Everything's fine, I miss you. Okay. Uh, well, so do I. It's just, you know. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. Good day, well, my name is Sweeney, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077, episode 32. We go to talking about a revolution. Go to Judy's apartment in the evening. Now what, Pen Am? I'm just waiting for... Okay. You... Well, so, I'm just waiting for the right moment. Uh, the one we had by the first wasn't right enough. Not trying to put any pressure on you. Oh, wait, should I... Pardon? Or should I? No pressure. Ha, huh, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Very well, Pena. Why, hello there, what's going on? Y'all having fun without me? Left. Oh, two more left. Nope, sorry. To reload. Give me the reloading boost. There we go. One more left. Hello. It's your lucky day, motherfucker. Okay. Goodbye. That was fun. Hi, Judy. You wanted to talk to me in your own apartment? Do I need to oh, ring the lad. bell for... My lad. You okay? Oh, well. Okay, let's wait here. Uh, <laughs> teleportation. Nice. Alrighty then, sometime later. Judy, you there? Hello, hello. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. All right. What's up? You made it. Good. Grab a seat. All right. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Greetings. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better. I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone. The one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. Oh boy, bitchy queen. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? So, change your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm here. Doubt I need to explain why. Here's the thing. Gonna insist you explain. If we're to pull this off, I need to be sure you're all in, and know why you're all in. You don't know the first thing about Clouds, do you? You know Misato and the other Tiger Claw bosses see and hear everything that goes on there. I didn't get this far by shouting all my plans from the window. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. He's not coming back. Doubt I need to explain why to you. Me? I've got no idea why. Remember that. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. 
It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. <laughs> the body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Tom is going to beat me up. This chip is quite impressive. Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but that's nothing compared to some other people's skills. Yeah, I'm not convinced. If I'm to count on ninja dolls, I'm gonna need to see some real action. Like, wanna spar? What else? He's gonna beat me up. Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now. You okay? Yep. <laughs> you there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Nice work, Judy. Gotta do some cardio. Outdo yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please, plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. V? If you got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but... It's doubtful. 
We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Romy? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hull points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. It's just my work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. Ah, I'll set up meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. What a bitch. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. V, Feels I... like it's only right. V, are you okay? It's taking longer than expected and he's starting to breathe weird. You wanna help? I get that. But I'm happy to pay your fee in full. Nah. Judy? For real? No. Don't wanna hear it. But you- Beb, beb, Not a word. V, are you okay? Jesus Christ. Ugh. Ah, uh, ah. V, everything okay? V? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clap. Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip, well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Why the hell not? Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Nighty night, V. Go get some rest and don't fucking get a heart attack again. Or a seizure or something similar. Well, did you sleep well? Everything okay? Alright, stand up. Don't fall over. There you go. Can you walk? You can walk? Okay, morning sleepyhead. Had to run, didn't want to wake you. Left you some breakfast. Eat up. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Nom 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 nom. Thank you. Delicious. Oh yeah, we already commented this before. Alrighty then, let's get out of here. Freedom! Ah, yes. Nice. Yes, Panam? V, the basilisk. It's ready. <gasps> Would you like to drive it? Hell yeah. Sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome. So I hear. <laughs> Ain't she a beauty? Oh yeah, she's fucking impressive. Uh, hovering tank, really fucking cool. Drop by the cams, still don't do her justice, and maybe you cheer Pan Am. Hell yeah. <laughs> that tank looks ready. Uh, my tank. My car has seen better days. Anyways, can we do that? I really want to, but do the side quests allow it? 
Paid in full. How could I forget that? You know what? I'm gonna do that right now. You guys all remember the good old friend of ours, the Ripper Dog, the best Ripper Dog in Night City. The one that gave us the eyes, the one that had helped us all the time. That's like a father to us. We we're gonna pay him finally. God, it's been a long time since then. Hey, buddy, I'm back. Is the cat still here? The cat is usually here. Okay, not there. When you talk to Benna, make sure to watch your tongue. She rarely opens up to anyone outside the family. Sticks and stones won't break her bones by words. Okay, thanks. Any other advice? Serious question. Don't plan on mentioning anything. Um. Anything else? You'll do fine. Good luck. Okay, thank you, Cal. Uh, who was Cal again? Probably the Techno Creek. I don't know. Hello, buddy! I'm here to pay you, man! I finally scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them just in case. You need them more than me. I'm not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Hmm. Very nice. Um... Got a few questions about Silverhand and this chip. I'm no expert, but fire away. See what I can do. Tried to flatline me. Johnny did. What? What can I do to suppress him? You know, avoid my murder. Well, long as you don't give him control, can't do too much harm. Of course, that won't necessarily be possible after some time. And what then? What do you say we don't let things get that far? Find a way to get rid of Silverhand, and fast. How's it even possible, seeing him? Well, that biochip is designed for users to communicate with constructs. It's just doing its job. So I got Arasaka to thank. You know, I wager you have the lowest net worth of any relic owner out there. <laughs> Why am I reliving Johnny's memories? You two share a brain now. He has access to your senses, perceptions, even some memories. Likewise, you've got a glimpse into his. After a while, won't even know whose is whose. It's really scary changing into a person without knowing it. You took care of Jackie's body? I... I thought you knew. Damn it. Must have been knocked out when I talked about it. Wh what do you mean? Arasaka. They swooped in, dug their claws into him. What? Where'd they take him? Not sure. Had me face down to the ground, hands on my head. Tried to learn something, but... Well, you know how it is with corpos. Fucking monos. Hmm. How's Biz going? Eh, uh, can't complain. Corpos learned to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring lone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with his lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. <laughs> yeah, I already get that nowadays. Um, so, saw so a weird mural on the wall. Oh yeah, yeah. We don't need to talk about. Can you give me some good I'm upgrades? I'm thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. Does he have anything good? Like really good? Oh, that's gray. That's screw. Okay. Oh wait, what's that? Instantly restores your health after you discharge of. Hell yeah! I wanted that one. That is so useful. Whenever we fully charge a shot, that that it makes us have so much health. Trust me. Uh, increase the armor by 20. Um, you know what? That's only 2,000. I'll buy it until we get a better one. That's gonna help us. No! Oh. I'm a fucking idiot. I already have the best one. <laughs> what about this? Oh, wow. What's that? Increase the attack speed by 20%. That is impressive. Anything? Oh, wow. Huh. Okay, I don't need that one. And, yeah. That's all blue. Cool! Then we're done here. Thank you very much. That was, yeah, nothing. Cool. Thank you. See you around, Victor. Enjoy.
What if we had fast travel in real life? That would be so useful. Instead of driving the four kilometers, just teleport over there. Also, just that'd be like fucking time. cool. Yeah, yeah, you turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. <laughs> Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. <laughs> Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Hell yeah. Oh, where's my double jump? What the hell? Double jump? The fuck? Oi! Reinforced tendons! Why are you not working? You're made to double jump. Hello? There we go. Jesus Christ. So, you're my co-pilot. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Beep boop pop. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. What I really need is otter. Uh, no. I have cumin and chili. Anybody get yeah, this thing uh -huh. up and running earlier? Yes. Maybe you Everything ought to. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. <laughs> Everything is dandy. There we go. Oh, yes! Just give it a good old punch. Well? It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. Seems nice. Replace filter what do you think? every year. Three weeks of active use. Now I get why they call them coffins. <laughs> Not how I imagined it. Nice and cozy in here. Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. Cool. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then well, I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Oh. We're dri I didn't even notice we're driving. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. This will do fine. That's a cool thing a about a hover first. bike. I'll disconnect for now. Anything that hovers. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Oh, I won't be doing both, man. Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry. I'm not gonna watch. This thing is cool. Yeah, you don't need Just to tell me. Turns. The 
Oh, it's cool. I always wanted to take it to a spin to the Soft ride. city. Seems a boat. Hmm? She'll fly right. All right. I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Engines online. That was close. Right. Yes, that's the way to do it. Right. Uh. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Bullseye! Damn. Woo! <laughs> said about impulses. Mm -hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hijacked him. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled. It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I remember this. Do you guys remember um, Pacific Rim where the pilots are together in one body to interact as one machine? It's really fucking cool. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. No idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this? <laughs> that helmet of mine is fucking hilarious. Bam! <laughs> what just happened? Hey, what happened? I thought something else happened. It's like something exploded, you know what I mean? You don't know? Okay, I'm not gonna go specific. Hello, how's it going? Okay. 
Oh, she's driving it? Okay. Ahem, <clears throat> um, you guys have a talk. I'm gonna go loot. <laughs> oh boy, I can probably loot later. Bolt. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. Y you said- I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congrats. Thumbs up. Applause. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? But I want to loot. You go ahead and walk that way. I'm going to go loot. <laughs> Hello, bodies. Hello, loot. How's it going? Now, don't my Oh, my goodness. She has no legs. Oh, this is the last one. Cool. I looted all of them. I got so many weapons. <laughs> oh god, there's more! <laughs> Never mind. Alright, there we are. That should be everything. Jesus Christ, that was a lot of loot. I got like 30 guns, 20 rifles, 10 pistols, some knives. Uh oh. Oh. I'm sorry. This is looking bad. Interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. My bad. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. Did you see no, the I'm serious. Connection? We all it owe you. So you can count on the Alda Caldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. My double jump. There we go. Beer? Lemonade? I'll take a lemonade. All right with lemonade. Suit yourself. I love lemonade. Thank you. I had a happy endings. I already had a beer just now. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? Nice. B, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you? Stay in camp. Join us. Who? Why can't I? Hmm. Maybe I need to do some more jobs. Yeah. If I would do What's this. Gotten into you? Oh wait, she doesn't know that we're dying, does she? Oh shit. <laughs> she doesn't know that we're dying. Oh god. Um. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Sylvan, stop attacking me! Damn it! Ah, my head. A 
I'll think it all over. I pro. Yep. That's exactly what I meant. V? Am I dead? Hello. Are you God? You I look like an angel. I. V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I. We were talking. Then. Suddenly. You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. Yeah, yeah. Not v, yet. You have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? It's getting worse, Pan Am. Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening? Exactly. Hmm. Why am I afraid to tell her the truth? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... Aw. I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. All right. You know... Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Mm -mm. Oh boy. He's causing havoc. Seriously havoc. Hey. I'm falling apart. Talk to me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not... It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen. Did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things. But this isn't one of them. The construct's more like a cancer. Growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. Nope. I gotta go. I'm feeling better. Really. Don't you want to tell Pat I'm more? Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hello. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Oh, hey, Sol. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. I... Cool. You guys are really friendly right now. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us. How are you? You scared us. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Thank and you. that, at least, we can agree on. Very nice. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Will do. Same here with you guys. If you ever need help, I'm here. Just call me. That's literally where I'm here while I'm playing this game. Where's my Want car? Want me to walk with you? I don't know where my car is. I could eat. Uh, no clue. Maybe. Uh, oh well. Eat that one? What? Seriously? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. <laughs> hey there. Jesus Christ. 
Anyways, how far away are we guys? Oh Jesus Christ. We used to be, uh, where were we? I think the camp, what the fuck? No, wait a second, the camp was here. Yeah, that was camp, and now it's over here. Okay, it's not that far away. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Huh. Where's my car actually? Oh, wait a minute. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. On the minimap, it says my car is right in front of me. Hmm. That's odd. Should my car be right here? V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. Thank you. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? <laughs> I was about to say, thanks, madam. Um, well. Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Of course. Queen of the Highway. Ooh, level up. Nice. Yay. How about some reflexes? They can help us in the fights. There we go. Now let's go ahead and upgrade our fighting skills. You know what? This sounds really powerful. All attacks with blunt weapons have a 15% chance to apply stun. And once my enemy is stunned, I can fucking finish them off. That's gonna be so much fun. Also, where's my car? Car? My car? What's this? I know it's a tank, but... Okay. Hot damn. <laughs> Flying Fortress. So, my car is dead. Okay, and I cannot- Okay. You don't see it because- it, Okay, there you go. Hello, car. What? Why are you down there? Hey! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing down there? <laughs> well, shit, I'll be darned. What do we do next? Following River. Head over to River. We're gonna do that in the next video, once my car is fixed. You know what? This usually helps if I stay on the road and I call the car sometimes. It teleports to my location. Hello, car. You look good as new, don't you? I like that about games like this. Alright. We're gonna do Falling the River in the next video. So, until then, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video as much as I did. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, enjoy, and good talk. Thank you.